I share this card on the March 2022 embossing folder release, and so many of you wanted to see this recreated. So luckily, this is a perfect pairing, and I'll show you one easy embossing folder technique to make these beautiful dimensional embossed cards. So to make this card, it was sort of my response to the die cut inlay technique. And so for this perfect pairing, I'll call this the embossed overlay technique. So in order to create this embossed overlay technique, you'll need three things. First and foremost, you'll need an embossing folder. For this card, I've used the Peony Sunshine Botanical 3D embossing folder. You'll need a die with a large surface area. I use the Caps Bold Alphabet die set. And that's so you'll need an ink of any kind. So I use the Red Sunset family of mixed media inks to create my original card. So in order to recreate this card, you'll need any ink that you can use on your embossing folder. So a dye ink or a pigment ink would work just fine to recreate this embossed overlay technique. Now I won't create this card exactly, but I'll replicate it to show you a, maybe a different occasion if you're not looking for a Mother's Day card, for example. So first I'll work with the Peony Sunshine embossing folder. In my opinion, some of the best results I get from embossing folders come from lighter weight card stocks. So here I have an 80 pound card stock. Typically I'll craft on a 110 pound card stock weight. So first and foremost, I'll pick an orientation for my white card stock. And I'm just doing that by looking through my embossing folder. And then I'll use the fine mister bottle. I've got water in this one to just give me a light layer to moisten the cardstock. And this just helps preserve a lot of the detail when running this through your die cutting machine, following your embossing folder sandwich. And that's a Yanas Mokula hack for getting really great impressions on embossing folders. Now that my cardstock has the impression of the Peony Sunshine 3D embossing folder, I'm just going to remove it for a second and do an embossing folder inking technique on the text side of my embossing folder. Now, as I mentioned previously, I used the Red Sunset family of inks for my Mother's Day card. In this one, I'll switch it up a little bit and I'll use the Summer Afternoon family of inks. And I'll start with my lightest layer first on my 3D embossing folder. And I'm doing a light layer of this on my embossing folder trying to capture the high points of the text side of my embossing folder. I'm going to slide in my embossed cardstock and lock it into the non-text side of my embossing folder. And now that I have that in there, I'll apply another light layer of water to the inked side, the text side of the embossing folder, and then run this through my die cutting machine to leave an impression of the buttercream ink. These are just really simple letterpress inking techniques that you've probably seen in another perfect pairing video of mine, which I'll link and hopefully pops up in the card here. But now that I have a light layer of buttercream, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of depth to the center of this flower. So I'll move on to the next darkest ink in the Summer Afternoon family of inks, and that's Warm Sunshine. And just as before, I'm lightly tapping the ink pad to the high points of the text side of the embossing folder. And this time I'll concentrate this ink more towards the center of the flower. I'll apply a light spray of water, and then I'll ensure my paper is locked into the non-text side of my embossing folder. And then I'll run this through my die cutting machine again. And I figured by now you all know the drill, so I went ahead and did the same thing with Caramel Toffee. I applied an even smaller area of this ink in the center of the flower just to give the whole bloom a sense of depth. And this cardstock is still kind of wet, so what I'll do is set this aside to dry, and I'll work on the die cut letter element to this card. With the Caps Bold Alphabet die, I decided to spell the word U, Y-O-U with the set of dies. And with these letter dies, I know they'll fit in the center of my Peony Sunshine embossed panel. With my previous card, I went for a tone-on-tone -tone look, 
And I'll do the same thing with this set of inks. So I have the Summer Afternoon Mixed Media inks. I'll also use the Summer Afternoon Gradient Cardstock set just for that nice little subtlety, but definitely a wow factor with the tone on tone effect. And with the lightest cardstock in the Summer Afternoon set, so buttercream, I went ahead and die cut the word U using my Caps Bold Alphabet dies. And hopefully you haven't put away your embossing folder yet, so you'll bring this back out for this next step. And this is where the embossed overlay comes into play. So I've locked my embossed panel onto the non-text side of my 3D embossing folder, just as if I was going to ink up the text side again. Now I'm picking the final orientation of where I want my die cut letters to go. So I'm using a T-scale ruler to make sure that everything is lined up properly. And I don't want to run all this paper through my embossing folder. So what I'm going to do is make a hinge using my Altenew Satin Tape. And what I'm doing is connecting all the letters with the Altenew Satin Tape, but also making a hinge for myself off the side here. So I can lift these letters up, pull out my dry embossed panel, and then carefully lay down my letters on top of the embossing folder. Now that I like the orientation of my letters, I'll run this through my die cutting machine. And now my cardstock is locked in a familiar orientation in my embossing folder. Now I can carefully peel off the satin tape. And now that my letters are embossed, I can lock them back into the non-text side of my embossing folder into their familiar orientation. So just as before, I'll add ink to the non-text side directly over where my die cut letters are. And I'll use warm sunshine, the next darkest value in comparison to my buttercream cardstock. And I'll do a heavier application of this ink onto the text side of my embossing folder. So now that I have added quick coverage, I'll run this through my die cutting machine with the warm sunshine ink. So that's the first layer with warm sunshine. I'll do a little gradient now that I know based on the mirror side where this ink will fall. So I'll use caramel toffee and I'll apply this on the bottom half of the letters. And I haven't touched my letters so they're still locked in place. And I'll run this through my die cutting machine just like this with caramel toffee now on the text side. And now I'll wait for the letters to dry while I work on other elements to my card. To complete the U sentiment that I've been working on, I figured I'd use the Craft Your Life Project kit in Dynamic Blossoms. And I'm going to complete the sentiment with the U are amazing. To keep the single tone theme going along, I'll stamp this on a panel of white cardstock and make a little sentiment strip using the Summer Afternoon family of inks. So I'll stamp this sentiment in caramel toffee. So here are the three elements to complete this card. Here is the peony sunshine embossed panel, my embossed letters, and then finally my little sentiment strip to complete the you are amazing sentiment. So I glued down my peony sunshine panel to a folded note card base. Before I take care of the die cut letters, I'll use a little bit of the dye ink from Caramel Toffee and apply splatters to my flower with a water brush. Depending on your wants, you can glue down your letters directly over your embossed panel for a much more subtle effect. But I really like the way my letters look with a little bit of dimension. So since there is a lot of real estate on these letters, I can use the instant dimension foam tape and use it to really separate the sentiment from the background. One of the last steps is adding the rest of the supporting sentiment. So I foam mounted this as well. To embellish this card, I'll use the pocket full of sunshine enamel dots. And that's it for the embossed overlay technique. So hopefully you can see that making these cards is really easy and creating that dimension is as easy as using any of your Altenew 3D embossing folders. Now just as a recap, you need three things to create these cards. You'll need a wonderful Altenew embossing folder. I recommend something with a lot of detail. A die set, it doesn't necessarily have to be a die set. If you want to, you can create a circle frame by using the nesting circles die. 
just any die set that has a large surface area. And finally, you'll need some sort of ink to ink up your embossing folder. I used the mixed media inks, pigment inks, but you can definitely do this with your collection of Altenew Crisp dye inks as well. Thank you all so much for your feedback over on my Instagram. It makes creating content really easy for the Altenew channel so that I have a better idea of what you all want to see in my perfect pairing series. My series encourages you to shop your existing Altenew stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the Altenew channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Perfect Pairing episode with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello crafters, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching!